I um, got my first dose of Pfizer on uh, Friday, May 21st. I was 16 and a half weeks. And then I got my second dose um, three weeks later, um, the next Friday. <laughs> um, I believe it was June 11th was my second shot. And at that point, um, I was almost, almost 20 weeks. I learned that when a person becomes pregnant, they are immunosuppressed so that their body does, does not reject the baby. That increases your risk as a pregnant person and pregnant people are at increased risks for um, viruses and things like COVID-19. COVID-19 has really evolved as we all know, you know, now there's uh, the vaccines were introduced and that was great. Um, but we had to all keep our distance from each other and, um, you know, really cut back on or modify our normal activities so that we could be safe, especially once we determined it was really airborne. Um, I didn't have any underlying health conditions that put me at risk, thankfully, um, but my partner does. And um, you, part of a, a pandemic is really the necessity to be considerate for, for everybody, not just yourself. Well, I'll be honest with you. At first, I was when I first learned that we were expecting our first child in February, I found out pretty early, uh, I was like, there's no way I'm doing this. At first, I was like, no. This is this is too new. It's untested. Um, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I could do this. Um, but I trust my doctors, and every single doctor I spoke to, every single doctor I spoke to, encouraged the vaccine, recommended it. Uh, for me, since I mentioned I had a difficult first trimester, they wanted me to wait until I was feeling better, doing better to to, to get the shot. Um, but they did recommend it. Um, with this all being so new as uh, you know with the virus is new and then and the vaccine seems new um i of course wanted to do some research as well so i did uh, i saw that secretary mandy cohen had shared online a, a study um involving pregnant women and i read that i saw that other um pregnant medical provider med medical providers and breastfeeding parents were sharing their reasons for getting the vaccine. Again, they're medical providers, I trust medical providers, and they were going through something that I was just beginning to go through. Um, I learned that my baby will be born with COVID antibodies. That was a really big point for me to feel really reassured that I'd be giving an extra sense of protection to our child. And then of course the um, vaccine has been approved for children as young as 12. So at that point I felt more confident that it was um, the right choice, but it's also better than the alternative of ending up in the hospital or losing your life, losing your baby. I think with we're all going through something new with the pandemic, so it makes everybody uneasy. First, you're living in a pandemic, that makes you uneasy. Um, and then what are the precautions? Anything can make you uneasy. Then there's a vaccine that could make you uneasy. Everything is new and that's uncertain and change can be hard. Change can be good, but change can also be hard. So um, uh, for me, I had a lot of uneasiness and anxiety with all of those things, just like anybody would. But then finding out when you're carrying a child, you think, oh, you have to protect the baby, that comes first. But something else I learned in talking to and listening to medical providers is you also really need to protect yourself. You are that host for the baby and, and whether you're carrying a baby or not, you need to protect yourself. So um, any measures that are medically recommended are evidence-based and those, um, that's, that should give you the confidence to know that it's the right choice to protect yourself protect your family. Um, and so with that, I knew that the vaccine was the right choice. I just knew that my body had to be in a strong enough condition to handle um, any possible side effects if I wasn't feeling great. Um, and But even though, this, again, as I mentioned before, the side effects are a very, very small price compared to if you get the virus and you end up in the hospital or you lose your life or you lose a family member. So. That's really where that my thought process is on, in terms of being confident of uh, how to approach the virus, both the safety measures and the vaccine. Um, it, it's really looking at what is recommended 
and there's a lot that's been recommended that's it's evidence-based and it's been looked at for years far longer than we even realized. With the COVID-19 variants, it makes me a little more nervous, um, but being fully vaccinated, I still have a lot more freedom to do things than I did before, um, to socialize a little more freely. Um, and, you know, of course, I, I have a mask on me all the time for close encounters. Um, but once I got the shots, then we could really honestly enjoy the second trimester honeymoon period and uh, enjoyed some road trips around North Carolina and um, really enjoyed reconnecting with family and friends, feeling like we had a safer bubble to really reconnect with people. And that was really great for our mental health and um, just getting life back on track, really. Um, so, I mean, otherwise, then I have a little person in here kicking occasionally and I'm really tired. I, I'm, I'm, my nap game is strong, um, but I'm healthy. I'm really healthy. Baby is really healthy. We're really relieved and we're really grateful for uh, the medical guidance and resources that we have at our fingertips, mere minutes, miles away in Wake County that some people don't. I understand that when you become pregnant, you uh, have a heightened sense of concern, as you should, because you are now carrying a child. Um, but as I learned from medical providers, you're not only supposed to protect your child at that point, you have to protect yourself. So the best way to do that with this pandemic that we've been dealing with is to ultimately get the vaccine, uh, secondary to utilizing things like a face mask and distancing and sanitizing measures. Um, but you have to think about yourself and, and, and that is important. That involves vaccines. This week I got my flu vaccine. <laughs> and so it, it, it's really important. Um, and remember that the medical experts are, re are recommending the vaccine. They're recommending it uh, for pregnant people, for elderly, for kids as young as 12. So we're on track to having a safer, uh, happier, healthier, hopefully better world again. Um, but I would encourage pregnant and expecting parents to get the vaccine so that they have that extra layer of protection, not only for themselves, but also uh, for their baby when their baby arrives. I wish every pregnant person knew that the vaccine is safe. It's evidence-based, it's recommended, uh, it's, and it's far better than if you're uh, don't have that extra layer of protection of the vaccine and you get sick and you are at much higher risk along with your baby and if you get COVID-19 it puts you at a higher risk for hospitalization needing other tools and preterm labor and if your child is born early there's a higher risk for impairments things like brain development and that's something we want to prevent uh, as someone who started off their career as an educator, uh, I can tell you that I know that the birth to age eight section of a person's life is really crucial and the most influential. So if you get COVID-19 and you're unvaccinated, then you are setting yourself up for more likely risk for preterm labor and thus uh, hindering your child from that extra brain development that is needed uh, later on, very important. Um, for, for your child to have a normal, happy, healthy, strong life. We are very fortunate in the United States to have access to this vaccine. Um, I, I happen to have family and friends um, in other countries who haven't had the same access to this vaccine that we are privileged to have uh, here in Lake County, here in North Carolina, here in the United States, where it's provided free, easily accessible vaccines and tests. And uh, these have been um, developed with the expertise of medical experts and scientists who have been studying these sorts of viruses, treatments, vaccines for years. So it's not something that they've just pulled out of a box for us, but we've got early access to it way ahead of other people in other countries. And I just wish more people would take advantage of that resource. Um, to help us all live more normally like we did before, um, hopefully in a better way. Um, but 
we have access to something that is proven um, earlier and easier than many, many people do being here in this country. And that's something important that we should also remember that it's there. Go get it, it's free. Save your life, save your friend's life. And um, I believe very strongly that um, it is our duty to take care of not only our world, but our community. And part of that is getting vaccinated.